you can change PowerPoint fonts with one click. This is the nice trick I found out with SlideMaster and Layout. The way you can set it up is by going to View, opening SlideMaster and creating a new layout below the title slides, for example here, and creating a new text placeholder. I'll right click, rename this layout to Tutorial Fonts. Then I go to Insert Placeholder, I will simply insert a text placeholder, which is usually the base of any PowerPoint slide. All right, we have the text placeholder, and as you can see, by default, we have this super boring bullet point list. What I'm doing here is selecting all six levels, taking all six levels here to the beginning, so they are all in one line, and I'll also go one step further, and in the home, I will remove the bullet points because I prefer to have a clean look like here. Now, what you want to do, you want to increase the size. Let's say my default size is 80 for all the levels. I do not need the next levels to be smaller because this is not the style I'm looking for. The last thing I want to do, I want to adjust the actual font you see here to achieve something like this, where I set up big bulky fonts for myself and each time I want, I want to use them, I'll just select this layout. But we are doing this here now. So the first text, it doesn't matter how much text is here. You, I can even write text here, it doesn't matter. PowerPoint will recognize this as a separate level. What I'm doing, I'm just selecting big fonts I like and I probably will use in my presentation. Of course, do not go crazy. Just select something you assume you wanna use and you wanna have it somewhere close. Montserrat Black, yeah, perfect. This is a great font I will most likely use and I remember that Montserrat is on my level four. Okay. Once you are ready, go to Slide Master and simply close the master view. Right now, each time I select a new slide and I remember that I want to use Montserrat or another big font, I just right click, I select layout, and I make sure that I select the layout I've created, which is tutorial font. Okay, tutorial font, Forte was the first font. First font, you know what? I don't like the first font. I just go here and I change the level of this font. Since I have four levels specified, level number three, level number four, we have Montserrat with a couple mouse clicks. No need to change fonts here, to search them around, and this is a super convenient way. If you want, you can enable bullet points again, because we have specified on this particular slide, within this particular text layer, that bullet points should look like that. Should have one of those fonts, and they will always stay at the beginning. They will not move with each level because we have specified them to start and be adjusted to the left side. What's even more amazing, you can take this particular layout, this, uh, I'll call it tutorial fonts layout, Control C, take it to another presentation, make sure this line appears, Control V, and this layout is now in another PowerPoint presentation. This is how you can utilize the Slide Master even further by using different fonts for different levels specified in your text placeholder. Remember, you do not always have to use those default bullet points.